Hello friends! I thought I would give you some ideas for new grammar and review for cycle three week seven. Um, so I'm going to start with geography as usual. We um, repeat the states and capitals a couple times and then color it in similar to their dry erase map on their coloring pages. Then we'll do science. For science, I'll ask what are four parts of the excretory system? Urinary tract, so you act like you have to go, and then lungs, skin, and intestines along your stomach. So I'll do I say, you say, repeat after me. We'll do that twice for four repetitions. Then we'll say it together with the four hand motions, and that'll be seven. Next, we'll do English. For English, I'll continue with the same hand motions we'll, we've been doing. So first I'll say infinitive to rise, you say infinitive to rise. We'll do that twice for four repetitions. Then three times together, we'll do it with the hand motions. To rise, so it's a sign for infinitive. Then for present, rise rises, rose rising, risen. Then we'll do Latin. For Latin, I'm using sign language. We'll, first, we'll just repeat it without sign. Uh, I you might double check me on the app with these pronunciations, but I think I have them down. It's Wita Light, or wait, you go up, not down. Wita Life, Wita Life. Then Luke's Light, Luke's Light. Homo Hominum, Man. Homo Hominum, Man. So you go like this and then nomen name. Take two fingers and top together. Nomen name. And after Latin, we move on to the three subjects that involve songs, because you know I like to separate them. So um, next, I'm actually going to do math and history together, and I recorded repetition of the songs as a screenshot, so I can just press play through my Bluetooth speaker. And while I will have them repeat it with me just once, just so they have to say it one time, um, so I'll have them say the 13s once, and them say the history grammar once. Once. And then I'm going to use masking tape to make like a big elaborate hopscotch all the way around our classroom. And I'm just going to let them do hopscotch while math and history play. Most of them tend to jump in and sing anyway because they like the songs. Then last is timeline. So for timeline this week, it's Jesus, the Messiah, so you make an M, three fingers over your thumb, and then like a sash across. Jesus, the Messiah, then Pentecost, and the early church. So it's like tongues, fire, early church. Persecution spreads the gospel. Persecution, and then you make a G for gospel like you're flipping pages. Persecution spreads the gospel. Herod's temple destroyed by Titus. So Herod, H, T for temple, destroyed by Titus. Herod's temple destroyed by Titus. Diocletian divides the Roman Empire. D, divides an R. Diocletian divides the Roman Empire. And Constantine legalizes Christianity. Constantine legalizes Christianity. India's Gupta dynasty, because that was their golden age. Is it Gupta or Gupta? I don't know. India's Gupta dynasty. And that is it for new grammar. Then I'm going to, for review, I'm going to try Battleship printed. You can get these um, slips so that you don't have to laminate. They're just reusable for dry erase slips. I got these off Amazon. I think I got a pack of five for $7. And don't search classical conversations, battleship pronoun, or anything like that because they'll charge you for the prints. I just Googled six by six graph and it was a free printable. And then I filled in one, two, three, four, five, six for six weeks of review. And then I put six subjects on the side. I personally chose to skip timeline in this case. Um, so what we'll do is we'll divide into two teams. 
team green and team orange. And probably my helper Lisa will hold one with her team and you'll want some sort of hard surface or clipboard to cover it so that the opposing team can't see your board. And then you'll, um, each team will need two dry erase colors, two different colors. And so first, um, let, like let's say I'm working with my team against Lisa's team and we choose blue for our ship. So we'll choose, let's, uh, we'll probably do f four squares across for our ship. So let's say we choose to put our ship here. And then we'll probably like, we'll just outline it and every time we get hit, sorry, you can't see that very well. We'll just put an X where we get hit. And then um, you'll have a different color for where you try to hit the opposing team. So uh, let's say they guess math two. If that's where our team chooses to hit, then we color that in. And when they choose math two, they have to um, review math week two with me. So, so I would say, okay, math two, can you tell me, I would just choose math week two is threes and fours. I'll probably just pick one. I'll say, okay, can you sing the three song? And if they can't, then I'll help them or choose a teammate to help them sing the three song. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. Is that it? I'm not sure. So hopefully you get the idea, um, but we're just going to try Printed Battleship and see if they enjoy that. And I know whenever I made them do a full review every time they do a move on a game, they they don't like it. Like, they didn't like when I did that with Jenga. For example, if I say, sing your threes and your fours, it's a little bit too much because then you're doing way more review than game, and they don't enjoy it. So I'll probably, for example, if they say math two, I'll just have them say threes or fours. And if they say, um, if they choose like geography, I'll probably just ask them one of the states. What is the capital of New Hampshire? And then let them move on to the next turn. Um, so, because I want them to have fun, obviously. And while we're playing this, um, I did record a screenshot of just random um, subjects from different weeks on the app for review basically made my own playlist and I'll be playing that quietly in the background just so their subconscious can be soaking up all that various review as they're playing the game at the same time so I think that's all I had I'm super excited to get into the second quarter I'll see you girls in a few days bye